Elon Musk's aerospace company, SpaceX, is currently thriving with its Falcon and Starship projects, but their ambition doesn't stop there. They are continually pushing boundaries and undertaking endeavors that surpass the imaginations of other players in the space race. Recently, SpaceX's visionary CEO announced plans to construct a lunar base, stunning not only NASA but also Russia and China. SpaceX intends to establish this outpost on the moon using a fleet of Starship HLS aircraft. This bold move signifies SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and space exploration. Welcome back to Mars Discoveries, where we explore the wonders of space and innovation. Today, we're diving into an incredible topic, SpaceX's groundbreaking plans for a moon base. Imagine a future where humans live and work on the lunar surface, pushing the boundaries of exploration like never before. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things space related and hit that like button if you're as excited about the future of space exploration as we are. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the potential of humanity's next giant leap. Elon has recently provided more details on the advancements and achievements of the Starship program, pledging to reveal fresh insights into the world's most distinctive rocket, including plans for a new lunar base. Let's delve into the intricacies of the Starship rocket's design for lunar landings. This spacecraft will be meticulously crafted to suit the lunar landscape, finely tuned and optimized to navigate and operate effectively in the moon's distinct and challenging environment. Since there's no atmosphere on the moon, we won't sum. Instead, we'll rely on landing lakes for stability. Additionally, there's no need for a heat shield or flaps in lunar operations. The Starship HLS is essentially a landing craft tailored for this purpose, offering generous crew cabin space for astronauts and impressive payload capacities. The current variant, known as Starship V1, can handle payloads of up to 100 tons, if Elon and SpaceX opt to construct the HLS at the scale of Starship V3, the payload capacity could soar to over 200 tons. Accomplishing this would involve enlarging the propellant tanks, although specific details on the scale of this increase aren't currently disclosed. Essentially, SpaceX would have the capability to load more fuel into the lander, potentially aiming to boost the efficiency of the Starship for lunar missions. These missions demand a significantly higher delta V velocity change compared to flights to lower orbits, making such enhancements crucial for mission success and efficiency. In addition, the HLS Starship must remain in lunar orbit for extended periods, sometimes up to 100 days, while awaiting the arrival of the crew. Larger propellant tanks would enable it to carry sufficient liquid methane and oxygen for the landing process despite some propellant loss due to boiling off during the flight. As SpaceX continues to increase its launch frequency in the future and improves various versions of the Starship, the HLS will also benefit from these advancements. This will lead to more exciting developments, including extensive flight tests, significant upgrades to the vehicle, and missions that bring astronauts back to the surface of the moon, creating a renewed sense of exploration and achievement. With NASA's Artemis program on the horizon, excitement around Starship is sure to continue. Eliminating the need for a heat shield or flight control surfaces. This design choice reduces its overall mass and the number of tanker Starship launches required for refueling, compared to earlier HLS designs with multiple stages. In this configuration, the entire spacecraft functions as both an ascent and descent stage. The Starship HLS is equipped with six Raptor engines mounted at the tail, capable of scaling up to nine with the Starship V3 variant. These engines are used for launch as well as most landing and ascent maneuvers, showcasing the versatility and power of the Starship system for lunar missions. As the Starship HLS approaches the lunar surface within 100 meters, it will engage a high thrust reaction control system using thrusters located mid-buddy this configuration helps avoid disturbing the lunar regolith with engine exhaust. These thrusters burn gaseous oxygen and methane, a departure from the liquid form used by Raptors, with power supplied by large solar panels encircling the vehicle on the moon. Additionally, the Starship HLS is naturally equipped with four additional landing legs to ensure a balanced landing on the lunar surface. 
While designing the Starship HLS for moon landings is impressive, Elon Musk has highlighted that the spacecraft's capabilities extend far beyond lunar missions. Starship's versatility opens the door for humanity to establish a long-term base on the moon, showcasing its potential for future space exploration and colonization efforts. SpaceX's Starship Lunar Base concept involves a horizontal Starship HLS positioned on the lunar south pole, situated atop the rim of the Shackleton Crater. The base would be shielded by a 5-meter layer of regolith, the material that covers most of the lunar surface, providing protection against radiation and meteorite impacts. Only the airlocks and the nose hatch would remain uncovered from the regolith. The interior of the lunar base will comprise three levels that span the entire length of the vehicle, including the former methane and oxygen tanks. To achieve this vision, SpaceX needs two variants of the Starship. The first is the basic variant of the HLS spacecraft. Upon landing on the moon and unloading the cargo, the cargo section can be detached from the tankage section of the HLS Starship using a mobile crane brought to the moon on an earlier flight. On the moon's surface, a lunar crawler will transport a large cargo section to a predetermined location at the facility. The mobile crane will then lower the cargo section horizontally onto the lunar surface, where it can either stand independently or be connected to other HLS cargo. Once in place, the cargo section of the HLS Starship will be shielded by lunar regolith for protection against radiation and micrometeorites. After removing the Raptor engines, the lower section containing the fuel tanks is transported back to Earth for reuse in future Starships. The detached lower section of the HLS Starship is then repurposed as part of a storage tank farm at the lunar facility. The lower lunar gravity facilitates these construction and handling tasks compared to Earth, ensuring that surplus lunar starships are utilized efficiently to create habitats and support lunar activities. This approach optimizes resource utilization and contributes to the development of sustainable lunar infrastructure. The second variant of the one-way lunar starship is based on the tanker variant designed for refueling depots in Earth orbit. Lunar facilities will require a substantial mass of volatiles to support their operations, especially for agriculture and industrial activities. If there's no nearby water source on the moon, water can be transported by these tanker starships to support lunar development. Upon reaching the moon, the tanker starship and its volatile payload are integrated into the tank farm of lunar facilities. The Starship's Raptor engines and any unnecessary flight control systems are removed for eventual return to Earth and use on future missions. Establishing a long-term base on the Moon is a strategic move for SpaceX. It not only boosts the commercial economy on the Moon for the benefit of the world, but also serves as a stepping stone for SpaceX to efficiently build on Mars in the future. This approach aligns with SpaceX's broader vision of sustainable space exploration and colonization. As we reach for the stars and explore new frontiers, don't forget to stay tuned for more updates on SpaceX's incredible moon-based journey. Subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to join us on this epic adventure into the cosmos. Thanks for watching and let's continue to reach for the moon and beyond together.